Hey guys, I'm Matt. And I'm Marion. And, and this, this is Plastered Politics. Politics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Our guest bartenders tonight. We have Andy and Josh both joining us. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Hey. Oh. <clears throat> so, Andy, I think you brought us an article to look at. What do you have here? I know. I actually have the top 20 most insane things Donald Trump has ever said. <laughs> and there's actually a nice. really awesome photo picture of Oh, him. oh my God. <laughs> Let's talk about his pose. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if I had the Trump hair, there's nothing <laughs> I'd like more than to draw attention to it. Okay, okay, let's read. Okay, okay so who wants to read it? Okay, well, I'll read it. It's my article that I pulled up for you guys. Build a wall with a big beautiful door for legal immigration. Let's talk about building a wall. Like, seriously, it is 2015. And when the rest of the world is tearing down walls, you seriously want to build a wall? Like, first of all, let's talk about illegal immigrants in this country, most of which are not Mexican or Latino Americans that are coming from all the other countries south of the U.S. border. Not, they're not all Mexican, so there's shit ton of other people and other nationalities. It's not just a Mexican problem. It's... There's many different people that come in legally with a tourist visa and they let their tourist visa expire and they just don't leave. Can I just, can I just say what I feel as well? Do you remember in Europe and there was the Berlin Wall? Yes. Look at the jubilation when it came down. Wait. Aren't we trying to learn from this? Ronald Reagan? Yeah. And exactly. Isn't that who wants to take all the credit for it? The Ronald Reagan Republicans, but now they're advocating building, building another wall. wall? Did we not learn from building walls and then they come down? We should be breaking down barriers, not building them we up. Should be ex no, we should be... No, the Great Wall of China While we're talking about the wall. Well, we're talking about... While we're talking about You can bump slay down. <laughs> to close it off, let me add the last quote on immigration that he said about Mexico. It says, when Mex Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing those problems to us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're, they're rapists. And some, I su assume, are good people. But That's first of all, let's talk about this notion that Mexico is sending their people. <laughs> like, they're knocking on doors and being like, yo, Ramirez, it's your turn. Let's go. You're, you're, going, to Mex you're going to the United States. Like, yeah. seriously, like, like, that's just absurd. And I think... Get on it. the rapist train this time. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> there are people who truly are afraid of immigrants, even though they don't recognize that that's their heritage. I mean, you know, there's very few Native Americans that are going, oh, my God, Mexicans, you know? <laughs> I mean, like, I grew up in a generation that celebrated the melting pot that we are as America, that from all nations and all cultures, we came and we built something that's supposed to be great, but there's a movement now that's afraid of this diversity and afraid of this greatness. But honestly, what makes us so great is our diversity. Absolutely, and I mean, isn't that what the Statue of Liberty was about? Isn't that was so much? Hello, wow. give us our sick, give us your poor. Like, I, I mean, like we welcomed everybody, and then from that we became the most diverse and economically strong and because of our diversity, power. we became what we are today. I wanted to ask about Bernie Sanders and the way you feel about him as a politician for women's rights, for equ equ equality on pay,
for his. I views. think Bernie Sanders is the Jesus Christ of American politicians. Like he is the savior, the Messiah that's come to rectify mm-hmm. the corruption that has become the American political system. Like, from my point of view, I'm a Democrat, democratic socialist. I feel that. Ooh, nice <laughs> word. <laughs> Health is not a privilege. It is a human right that your health care should not be based upon your ability to pay for it. Um, women's equality in pay and in work <coughs> matters. <laughs> women's pay and <coughs> equality in work matter. Bernie Sanders stands on women's equality as far as pay, compensation, and their ability to be 100% equal in the workforce and what they have to offer, I feel is a more... Fuck, I lost my... Okay, here's what I'm going to say about this about that is Socialism is not taking care of the people. That's government. That's the role of government, is to make sure that nobody's falling mm-hmm. through. <laughs> it's so I'm about to I think that Bernie Sanders this. actually has a lot to offer. I think that his He's ideas. He's no fucking near a socialist, so that's what we call. But bullshit. he, but but he uh, describes himself as a democratic socialist. Well, he's a fucking a European socialist. He's an independent, so he's not a democratic socialist. The thing is, is that every Republican candidate that's running is more fascist than they are anything remotely close <laughs> to uh, freaking capitalist or. Like American or anything, they're all. Fascist. I know, but you want to say Bernie Sanders is socialist? He's nowhere near socialist. He's a self described no! democratic well, well, socialist. You, I, I'll describe myself as a hot supermodel. What the fuck does that mean? He is not a socialist. I think his I think his concepts and his ideas would revolutionize and bring our nation to the twenty first century. I think that we would join the rest of the developed nations. And having basic rights and a foundation. Yes. Uh, you took a shot. <laughs> I thought it would be good for the bartender in the background to take a shot. Don't bring it to people's oh attention. My god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's okay, darling. We're plastered. It's all right. <laughs> I really want to thank our viewer, Sally for suggesting that article tonight. Thank you so much. And we'll definitely put that article link in the description and we'll give credit to Sally. Thank you so much for participating in Plaster Politics tonight. And we hope that many more of you suggest articles for us. Any links, we're happy to look at them on the night that we're doing our next Plaster Politics. And We'll make sure to maybe give a giggle, maybe argue about it. Exactly. Who knows? Who knows? But we're looking forward to seeing you. So make sure that you make comments, that you subscribe, and share any. Make sure you share us with your friends. Absolutely. (laughs) We'd love to hear what your friends have to say. We'd love to uh, thank our guests tonight, Andy and Josh. For being here with us and pouring very strong drinks and giving us a lot of material to talk about. If you'd love to be a guest with us, send us a message and we will make sure that we hook it up. So this is Blessed Politics. Politics. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Cheers, folks. Another good one. Woo. And that's some tequila, my friends. <laughs> Woo! Plaster politics. politics. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I just saw you on like this is my politics. I'm like, I don't see I want like smirking or you to go. Mm. Okay, we we may have had okay, let's do we it. We'll run out of memory. Let's do it. Before we started, but here we go. We got it, we got it. We got no it. laughing. It's fine. Why is it so funny? I don't know because she got all this shit together. And this is like take 10.
or something. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my oh. brains. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> God bless. Oh, God bless our little hearts. I just spewed. <laughs> <laughs> oh I spewed tequila all over the floor.